Hey folks, Internet Dude here. I put out a video, just a very quick video, showing the startup of this old Lennox furnace uh, back in September. And it got more views than I thought it would. Uh, I got about 2,600 views already. So I thought I'd just do a, a bit of a follow-up video where I can give you some details and show you a couple things. Whereas in the previous video, I, I didn't say anything. I was just kind of focusing on the burner. So you can see here, it's a... Uh, it's an older Lennox unit. Um, I'm not a, certainly not an expert in uh, furnaces. <laughs> uh, here's where I got the idea that it's a 1977. Because if you look at this uh, gas safety inspection tag, the year is 1977. So I believe that's when this furnace was put into place. So this is what it looks like from the front. Pretty standard stuff. So to remove the cover, you simply lift up and then it comes right off. And on the back of the cover, there's no decals or warnings or anything. Okay, so with the cover removed, you can see the main components here, uh, with the exception of the fan. The fan is down in there and I don't want to uncover that just yet because I think the furnace will probably kick on pretty soon here. So that's where the, uh, the draft air is. So down here, that's the main burners. Uh, this tube is what uh, sends the gas from the gas valve. Uh, just give you kind of a, a look here, see if I can get the light right. So there's the gas valve. Wiring, uh, that switch controls the fan and uh, the temperature control or something like that. So you can see the burners in there. I did clean them up back in September. And I'll just take that light away so you can see that pilot. There you go. I think that pilot looks good from what I've researched. Uh, it's blue. And uh, with very few tips, orange tips, so I think that, I believe that's good. You can see there's, there's some rust in there. Uh, I don't know how much of that would be considered normal for, for a unit of this age. Let's go take a look at the, uh, tag here. Alright, so Lennox Gas Heating Equipment, Lennox Industries Canada, Toronto, Calgary. Uh, you can see the model number there. G. Yeah, I can't really read it on the screen, but I'm um, zooming in hopefully enough you'll see that. See the specs in case you're wondering about those specs. Lighting instructions. Serial number. Wonder if we can get that. 6. 377E54747. So on these, so uh, 77E, what that means is it was manufactured in the fifth month of 1977. Uh, so the 77E, the E would be the fifth month and the 77 would be the year of manufacture. The only thing I've really found that's kind of an issue with this one uh, is when I went to start the pilot, you have to push down the, uh, right there, you see the arrow? That's a valve and you need to turn that to pilot and push and hold it down and uh, hold it down for a minute while you light the pilot. And then the thermocouple sends a signal that it's warm enough to keep the gas on and then you can turn it to on. Well, on this unit, the, uh, the button sticks down and then it's just slow to return. So I'm not sure if that warrants actual replacement, but perhaps. So I may, may include a short clip here of the burners turning on. Actually, I'll do, no, this will be when the, when the fan turns on, when the burner's running. But uh, anyway, there's the Lennox. Uh, 1977 furnace. I uh, showed you the startup and just the general setup of this. The chimney goes up to the 
out there and then straight up out. So anyway, if you have any questions, uh, let me know and I'll do my best to answer them. But like I say, I'm not an expert on these, these furnaces. So um, this one seems to be running just fine. It's, you know, it hasn't given me any operational problems. Uh, it's obviously not the most efficient uh, out there. It's probably one of the least efficient you can possibly see, but uh, it is reliable. Uh, I am giving some thought to perhaps getting a newer furnace that would be more efficient. Something I'll maybe look into. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, I know I gave uh, some additional details here on this video that I didn't do on that other, you know, two or three minute video. I forget how long that one was. Okay, I had just ended the video and this just kicked in. So I thought I'd come in here and give you a look. Another look at the flames. From what I've read, there shouldn't be that ma you know, there shouldn't be that many orange tips on the flames. Like I say, I'm not an expert in this. And sometimes you can just adjust these uh, these flat there these openings here. Sometimes you can adjust those to change the air gas mixture. Uh, now in this case, it doesn't appear to have that sort of adjustment. So basically, what we're looking for here is when the uh, fan kicks in, we don't want the gas to change at all. So the fan's kicked on now and I did not see any change. Uh, it's possible that's not the best indication. I'm not sure what the, the best indication of a cracked heat exchanger would be, but that would be kind of the primary, the primary concern. Anyway, uh, this time uh, I hope you liked the video and give it a thumbs up and subscribe and thanks for watching.